Armstrong, Fayette Area Coordinated Transportation, Autoland Hyundai, Cherokee Recycling, Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty, Freaky Fast, Freaky Good, Jimmy Johns in Uniontown, Attorney Melinda Delarose, George Dental Associates, Novacare Rehabilitation, Russ Blayhill, your local all-state insurance agent, Ted Silva and Son Auto and Fender Repair, Shop and Save, Walnut Hill in Uniontown, Ford of Uniontown, Northwestern Mutual Agent John Ritchie, Potter Sports Bar and Grill, Uniontown Detailing, Magisterial District Judge Daniel Shimshock, the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood, the Somerset Trust Company, Attorney Vincent T. Berry, Fayette County Recorder of Deeds John Marietta, the Simply Sweet Boutique, Perkins Painting, m &R Transit, Mama Ruka's Pizza Shop in Uniontown, the Centers for Rehab Services and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the C. Harperano Group, Casey's Sports Cafe, First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, Rose Motors in Masontown, Jackson Farms Dairy Store, Attorney Lisa J. Boudet, Peachins Pharmacy in Connellsville, SWGI in Uniontown, Thurby's Riverside Ford, State Farm Agent Lauren Yeoman, Lease Plumbing and Excavating, Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer, and by Joby's Golf. Now stay tuned for the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show here on WMBS Facebook Live and on the Triple Live High School Sports Network. From the Montour Athletic Center, it's time for high school basketball action here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Tonight, the Uniontown Red Raiders battle the Montour Spartans in the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. The Red Raiders 10-5 overall, 7-1 out of Section 3 and 4A. Rob Kazmarski in his 20th year as the head coach of the Red Raiders. Montour 11-3 overall, they're 7-2 out of Section 2 and 4A. Bill Maneer in his 26th year as the head coach of the Montour Spartans. Brian Morozak along with Steve Super, Tony Hanula behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed, and Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Our pregame show being brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes. They will get you ready for the game. They're located at 217 West Main Street in Uniontown, phone 724-437-9812 for the Sprouse Insurance Group. Our live video stream tonight, courtesy of Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta and the WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital. And Steve Montour should be a pretty third test for Uniontown tonight. Well, it sure should be. At, uh, <laughs> at least from what we saw, uh, Tony and I are watching uh, in between uh, at halftime of the other game, a couple of the Montour players came out to shoot around a little bit, and they got one guy looks like he should be playing in the NBA. I can tell you that. Uh, uh, so it's going to be a very stern test for the Red Raiders, but a test that they probably will help them down the road. And, uh, you know, if they could put up a good fight against Montour, it'll give these kids some confidence going to the playoffs. You look at the Spartans team, Steve. They've lost only three games all year. Two of the three were against unbeaten teams coming into play today. Quaker Valley, the number one team in 4A. North Hills, the number one team in 6A. Their other loss against section opponent Lincoln Park. And they returned five senior starters. They're experienced, and their defense has been stifling this year. Yeah, well, there you have it. I mean, they they look like they're going to be, uh, you know, uh, a tough out. And it's, uh, you know... Rob Kazmarski, though, it's a chance to play one in a, in a big-time atmosphere here. Nice. This is one of the nicest facilities I think that will be, uh, will be at all year. Wouldn't you agree? This I is agree. pretty nice. And, uh, and it's a good crowd. A lot of people coming out here to watch. And the Red Raiders are going to get to play in front of a lot of people, and it should be a lot of fun. We talked about the strong defense for Montour. In fact, they held Central Valley, Steve, last night to 24 points and a 49-24 win. I talked to Montour's head coach, Bill Maneer. He said, he buys his kids pizza every time they hold an opponent under 45 points. Pizza and wings when they hold a team under 40 points. You'd have to think those kids ate pretty well today after only giving up 24 last well, night. Maybe they'll be a little sluggish today if they <laughs> ate a lot of pizza and wings last night. Who knows so. what else after giving up only 24 yeah. last night? Yeah. So, well, it's going to be, like I said, the Red Raiders, it's going to be a good test. It's, you got to give credit to Rob Kesmarski for bringing his team here. I, mean, they, I know they got invited, and, and for him, for them to uh, come down and play or come up here and play, uh, it's just a great uh, treat for these kids, and uh, should be a pretty. Com hopefully, it'll be a competitive game, but uh, you know, Montour is certainly going to be a tough, tough test for the Red Raiders. They've had a couple of tough ones this week. I mean, they, you know, Brownsville gave them all all they could handle the other night, and uh, and uh, um, of course, Laurel Highlands. Uh, is a tough, tough one for anyone to play. So that's a rival game. So these kids have got to be a little bit, uh, 
a little bit worn out, I would think. Well, they, they did put up a solid performance Wednesday against the number one team in 5A in Laurel Highlands. Final ended up 75-59, to but they had it within seven in the second half. As you mentioned, they won their last game Thursday over a very scrappy Brownsville team. And you, you talk about maybe tired legs on the Montour side from playing last night. Well, Uniontown was off last night, but it's still their fourth game over the last five days. Yeah, and, uh, you know, so that's uh, – that's a lot of basketball, and you wonder what they did yesterday, if they were just relaxing or, or you know, what they did. I'm sure Coach K probably didn't have them in the gym, but you just never know. But, uh, hey, these are young kids, uh, Brian, and they're gonna, they'll be ready to go tonight. These are also the kind of games the seating committee will look at when putting together playoff brackets, and a solid performance tonight could go a long way in helping Uniontown's playoff seat in about two and a half weeks. Definitely, it's definitely, uh, you want to put a good showing up, even if you don't win. You just don't. You don't want to. If you lose, you don't want to look bad doing it. And, and I know that's. Uh, it's kind of you know win, just win, just win. But uh, you know there is uh, a way that you win or lose. And sometimes you know you can certainly look look bad. And that probably is. If you do look bad, it's not going to help your seating. So uh, Red Raiders going to have to play some good basketball tonight. And hey, why not? It's just uh, you know you never know. It's uh, uh, Montour is going to be on their home floor, and it could be a little bit of extra pressure on them. Should be a lot of fun. Our final game of the week, our sixth game over the last six days. We'll wrap it up tonight with Uniontown and Montour. And we'll talk to Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski and Bill Manier, the head coach of the Montour Spartans, when the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. Go to Ford to Uniontown and trade me in. Hello, this is John Clinton, and I want to share with you just how easy it is to purchase an incoming vehicle here at Forty Uniontown. When you arrive, we'll show you all the inbound inventory that we have coming. We'll go over all the packages and equipment. Then we'll appraise your current vehicle and put together an offer just for you. When you accept the offer, we tag that vehicle sold and call you when it arrives. It's just that simple. Of course, we'll go over all the purchase and lease incentives to make sure no details are overlooked. Nothing inbound catch your eye and you have a bit more time? We'll be happy to place a factory order special for you. Have you heard about these historic trade values? It's all true and you don't want to miss out. Are you thinking more pre-owned? We have over 100 Ford and non-Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs are ready to move. I have a special thank you for our recent customers that helped us raise $5,000 for the Fayette Friends of Animals and $4,000 for the Fayette County Food Bank. Your car knows, shouldn't you? Top of the hill across from Applebee's or FordofUniontown.com. The WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Orthopedic and Spine Institute is open, and their experienced providers are ready to care for you. Orthopedic and spine care spans a wide range of problems, from arthritis to joint trauma caused by injury or overuse. Hips, shoulders, knees, and backs are the most common areas where patients experience pain or impaired function. At WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, they can treat orthopedic and spine problems with state-of-the-art care. Their board-certified orthopedic surgeons and specialists are well-experienced in the latest treatments for damaged and diseased joints. They offer everything from physical therapies to joint repairs and joint replacements. Whenever possible, the newest, minimally invasive techniques are used to ensure quicker recovery, less pain, and less damage to surrounding tissues. To learn more about the newly opened Orthopedic and Spine Institute at WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital or to schedule an appointment, call 724-912-7533 or visit wvumedicine.org slash Uniontown. WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, the new us, here for you. Dinner's great. It's one of your top three favorite meals. You just don't want to have to make it. Well, with Jimmy John's, you don't have to. Whether you live in a sandwich delivery zone or head into the store, you can always get a freaky fresh sandwich. Click to order at jimmyjohns.com. Freaky fast, freaky good. Order online at jimmyjohns.com or call 724-437-6800 for delivery or curbside pickup. Jimmy John's, next to Walnut Hill Shop and Save. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 59th year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repair, and glass installation. They will gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they will work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it is the goal of Ted Silva and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Family owned and operated for 59 years, call 724-437-2351 
for Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Proud to sponsor local high school sports. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Primer Ozak back now with Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski. It's the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic here on WMBS Uniontown at Montour. And Coach, you look at your last game this past Thursday against Brownsville. Hard fought game. You got some big threes, though, in the second half from Tanner Uphold. And Notorious Grooms are able to pull away for the win. Hard fought win over Fayette County School in Brownsville that uh, has certainly improved over the last couple of years. Yes, it really has. Um, like Coach Davis and their staff, they're doing so, such a good job. And um, really exciting game. It's, it's tough to play three in a row. And um, coaches were tired, players were tired. That's not like, no excuse there, but it was a great game, and our, our kids uh, really made some outside. We shot the ball really well, but um, I thought our defense at the end of the game, we did a good job, and we shortened the game handling the basketball. We did a good job with that also. So it's nice to win, and we really need a day off before we go into play Montour. Tanner really had a big week for you. Yeah, Tanner has. I mean, here's the thing. Tanner's not always scoring, but day in and day out, he, he continues to play the other team's best man. Um, he made some spectacular defensive plays, and um, the way he's shooting the ball right now, it just shows you how hard, how hard he works and is really turning into a really, really good player for us. Yeah, it's nice when you can get guys to step up like that in a tight game of the fourth quarter, hit some shots from the outside, and that really turned things around. Oh, yes, it did. I mean, we made them, and um, then Brownsville kept, I give Brownsville credit. I mean, we, we shot, and um, we got a little lead, and they, they didn't quit playing. They kept attacking the rim, and they didn't settle, and... Um, it was nice to get out there with the win. I think it's a good game if you guys can keep it on the schedule on a year-to-year -year basis. I think it's a lot of fun when you can play those other Fayette County teams. Oh, yes, yeah, like I said. And like I, I said before, um, we played Brownsville when I we first started. Remember, we were in the same section, and then and then we didn't hear from them for a while. So um, I give Coach Davis and, and, um, and their program for wanting to play teams like us in the rivalry. So um, I think it'd be good. And I mean, we're not going to be in the same section, but... Maybe even they come to a tournament or we go to their tournament and things like that. So anytime you can have local games, it's nice. You, you see the crowd there. Um, these kids do know each other. Um, they play a lot, too. So, um, um, again, it was a really good game. It's good for the environment. Another good test on Saturday, taking on Montour in the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. And you'll get Montour's results season to date. They've been extremely solid. Enter the weekend 10-3 and overall, 6-2 and in the conference. Had a one-point loss against Quaker Valley. That's a game they could have won. Lost to an undefeated North Hills team out of 6A and a two-point loss against Lincoln Park. I mean, I watched Lincoln Park game and I watched um, Quaker Valley game. They were winning 46-41 with a minute 13 to go and some things happened and they didn't win. They lost. I watched them. They had actually had a last-second shot um, up at um, Lincoln Park to tie the game. So that just shows what kind of team they are. Um, we have four or five of their games on huddle. They're very athletic. Um, we, we, um, they're very good. There's a reason they're probably one of the top five teams in all 4A. And um, our program wants to um, um, play in this tournament as much as anytime we're asked to come, we're going to come. It's a great environment. Some of the best teams in JPL are playing. So it's going to be a good game for us. And it's hopefully that we can give a good showing and um, compete with them. And it'll help us for the playoff time. And you can tell this Montour team certainly a lot of experience uh, bringing back their entire starting five from a year ago as well. Yes, yeah, you tell you. Know, they're very strong inside. So. And we have to do that. I think I think we have a chance to be a bit very competitive with them. Their guards are good too. They shoot the ball, but their inside guys, um, and number twelve especially, um, they may be they may be tall and inside, but they handle the basketball. They play more like guards than they do forwards and centers. Does that change the way that you approach the game at all? Well, not really. I mean, at this time of the year, we're going to have to play, and our kids are going to have to realize. Like um, I think Perkins right now could be playing any better. So we just have to make sure he extends a little bit, too. But um, he's doing a great job for us inside, so we could be more pleased with him. Coach, appreciate your time, as always. We'll see you out there on Saturday. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. As you need, John, head coach Rob Kesmarski, the Red Raiders at Montour, taking on the Spartans, Pittsburgh basketball classic here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. And we'll talk to Montour's head coach, Bill Manier, on the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. With branches in Markleysburg, Connellsville, Hopwood, Uniontown, and Periopolis, Somerset Trust Company is truly Fayette County's community bank. 
We invite you to stop by and experience the Somerset Trust Company difference. Local decision making, convenient locations, extended hours, award-winning online and mobile banking, and more. Somerset Trust Company, community banking worth talking about. Branches and ATMs throughout Fayette County. The Catholic War veterans post 1669 at Hopwood are proud supporters of local high school sports. For more information on the programs that the Catholic War veterans provide, log on to the Catholic War veterans website at www.cwv.org. You can also visit the Catholic War veterans post 1669 on Facebook or phone 724-437-3088. That's 724-437-3088. 3088 for the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hollywood. Going on now at Seahawker Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $279 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaharborChevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is for GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. For 4,500 cash trade equity with lease loyalty or lease complex payment is for tax title fees and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends January 31st, 2022. All supplies last. Residency restrictions apply. I call you for all of the details at 724-99-8000. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowl's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and it's not available in all states. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checks and windshield clean. Joby's Golf. That's where Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station serving the Uniontown area and the same location for over 47 years. Joby's Golf offers walkout services, general repairs, tire repair, fenced-in storage lots, state inspection, golf products, and AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Pittsburgh Basketball Classic here on WBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. The Uniontown Red Raiders at Montour taking on the Spartans, being joined by Montour head coach Bill Manier. And, Coach, you really had a solid season this year. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we returned five seniors that all had playoff experience last year. And, uh, I, I was kind of surprised in both the Lincoln Park and the Quaker Valley games that we didn't manage to lay better. And we've been working on that since then. You guys played a brutal section as well, and you actually gone out and played some pretty tough non-conference games as well to prepare your team for uh, the WPIL playoffs and certainly the stretch run. Correct, correct. Even in their field game, I mean, we we had played them twice in the summer and split with them and decided that was a good matchup, although it fell the day after we played Quaker Valley, so it was kind of hard to prepare. Um, but with two days preparation, our guys are, are pretty sound in what we're trying to do. Talk about this group of seniors that you had. You mentioned returning all starters from a year ago and what they've meant to your program and what we're going to see here against Uniontown. Um, well, the, the thing, the biggest thing that they 
has meant to the program is their commitment since their freshman year because I moved all them up to the junior varsity level as freshmen, and some of them got some varsity time then, and their commitment in the off season has been spectacular. I mean, they show up for everything, and hopefully the younger guys coming behind them can carry that on. Um, what you could expect to see, defensively, we really get after it. I mean, you, you mentioned those two games with Quaker Valley and Lincoln Park. I think I'm almost positive we held both of those teams their season low in points. Yeah, for sure. And even Highland. We played Highlands, too. And I think we held them to 51 points, so I think that's pretty close to their season low. Um, but we, our guys take pride in their defense, and we reward them if they hold the opposing team under 45 and we win, they get pizza at the next practice, and if they hold under 40, we get pizza and wink. Nice. So, <laughs> good rewards. Yeah, that's a good motivator. For sure. Talk about this Pittsburgh basketball classic. I was out there two years ago. Wonderful event. I mean, bringing all, along all these you know top teams from Western Pennsylvania all in in one location. It's so well organized year in and year out. Yeah, John G. Marco does a good job. He uh, he's been doing it for a long time, and him and I have known each other, been friends since probably the late '80s, maybe. Um, and I, I like it because it's kind of like a playoff format. And it also exposes your team to what else is out there and shows them kind of what they got to work on and what the successful programs do. How much prep time do you put in in the Uniontown game sandwiched in between two conference games with Central Valley and Quaker Valley? Um, well, the, the nice thing, I mean, you know, I've been coach, I've been head coach since 96, and the nice thing now is the access to huddle, which you can trade film with teams from all over. So we've had access to some film, uh, and our guys are pretty meticulous about studying it. And uh, we, we've spent some time earlier in the week because our game with Amber just canceled on Tuesday because they had some COVID issues. So we kind of prepared for Uniontown earlier this week, and then we're getting ready for Central Valley today, yesterday and today. That's Montour head coach Bill Manier, Montour hosting Uniontown Boys High School basketball action here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. It's the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic tonight, and we'll get a couple of days off here without a game on WMBS until next Tuesday when Laurel Highlands hosts Ringgold, and we'll preview that game when the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. They are conveniently located at 1310 Pittsburgh Road in Uniontown. But look for Uniontown Detailing in February at a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Hello, everyone. This is John Marietta. With God, all things are possible. Who would have ever thought we would have come this far? I want to thank each and every one who has helped me get this far. We couldn't have done this without you all. Change is what you ask for, and that's what you're going to get. This was about you, not me. I'm just a regular guy trying to do the right thing. I am John Marietta. I am the hillbilly. With your help, you have made me the next recorder of deeds for the people of Fayette County. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America. You know the importance of planning for retirement, and you plan to enjoy a long and healthy life after you retire. But it's also important to plan for the possibility of needing care on a long-term basis. As life expectancies grow in the U.S., the potential need for long-term care grows as well. A Northwestern long-term care insurance company policy can help pay for the care you may need. To learn more, call John R. Ritchie today, 724-550-4414. That's 724-550-4414 for John R. Ritchie. Are you looking for a rewarding career? M&R Transit is now hiring van drivers. Van drivers must be 26 years of age, have a valid driver license, and a clean driving record. Van drivers must be able to obtain all clearances. For more information, call 724-439-3164. That's 724-439-3164 or apply in person at M&R Transit, 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. M&R 
Radar Transit wishes the Laurel Highlands Mustangs good luck. For attorney Melinda Delarose helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Delarose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Delarose at 724 437 3200. 724 437 3200. Or online at DelaRoseLaw.com. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Brian Morozak back here at Montour High School. Tonight's the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. Uniontown taking on Montour. We'll get a couple of days off and have more high school basketball for you on Tuesday as the Laurel Highlands Mustangs will host the Ringgold Rams. We talked to Ringgold head coach Matt Rowland, and he knows it's a challenge any time his Rams play the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Well, yeah, and I, for, you know, for our benefit, we know a lot about Laurel Highlands. We, we saw a lot of their stars all summer long in the summer league, so we, we know the talent they're bringing and how good that team is, so we're really going to have to to match that intensity, match that skill level to be able to compete for four quarters with that. That'll be Laurel Highlands hosting Ring Gold coming up on Tuesday. Our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show hits the air at 7 o'clock, opening tip set for 7.30. Again tonight, it's the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. Uniontown at Montour taking on the Spartans. We'll have the starting lineups in the opening tip-off right after this. And, of course, that wraps up the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. More on the way next. Going on now at Steve Harper Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $2.79 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit SteveHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is for GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year, 4,500 cash trade equity with lease loyalty or lease conquest. Payment is for cash title fees and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends January 31st, 2022. Plus applies last. Residency restrictions apply. Call you for all the details at 724 just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The new year has begun and soon it will be spring. Time to start thinking about painting and redecorating. If you're looking for a professional painter or contracting service, call Perkins Painting and Contracting. With years of proven success in the tri-state area, Perkins Painting and Contracting is your local solution for all of your painting and contracting needs. Call 724-322-1285. That's 724-322-1285 for Perkins Painting and Contracting. I'm attorney Rob Harper, and I'm happy to be joining Bill Martin and Trip Radcliffe at Radcliffe Law in Uniontown. I grew up in Uniontown and chose to make Fayette County my home. I also represent the county as an assistant district attorney, and I know my way around a courtroom. If you are hurt in an accident, buying or selling a home, need assistance with an estate or will preparation, call me at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. The initial consultation is free. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Come see what everyone's crowing about. It's Rooster's Roost next to the Uniontown Shopping Center on Francis Street in the Old Eddie's Tavern location. Craving pizza, wings, fried chicken, hoagies, or your favorite salad or sides? It's all at Rooster's Roost. Eat in, take out, or have it delivered. Call 724-320-2244 or order online at roostersroost.com. Use the coupon radio and get $3 off your online order. Gift certificates also available. Stop in Rooster's Roost today. <laughs> COVID-19 vaccines teach your body to recognize and fight the COVID virus. 
You can get this vaccine at no cost to you at Peach and Pharmacy in Connellsville. Schedule online, by phone, or just walk in. Help protect yourself and your loved ones. When you are ready, get your vaccine at Peach and Pharmacy. Visit peachandpharmacy.com for more information. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 59th year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repair, and glass installation. They will gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they will work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it is the goal of Ted Silva and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Family owned and operated for 59 years, call 724-437-2351 for Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Proud to sponsor local high school sports. Prime Rosak and Steve Supert back here at Montour High School about 10 minutes away from tipping it off tonight. The Uniontown Red Raiders and the Montour Spartans Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. Steve is your starting lineups. They're going to be brought to you by Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist in Uniontown. Problems with the digestive tract or no pit to get help today. Plus WGI in Uniontown at 724-437-7677. Here's Steve. Okay, for the Spartans coming in 11-3 overall, 7-2 and two in Section 2-4A. Starting tonight at forward, a 6'3 senior, number three, Lason Stevenson. At guard, a six-foot senior, number four, Dante Del Tondo. At forward, a 6'4 senior, number five, Tariq Elam. At guard, a 6'1 senior, number 10, Dewan Pinkett. And at forward, a six-foot six, senior, number 12, Isaiah Mosley. For the Utah Red Raiders, usual starting nine up tonight for the Red Raiders coming in at 10 and 5 overall, 7 and 1 in section play. Starting at forward, number double zero, Christian Perkins. At guard, a 5'10 freshman, number three, Calvin Winfrey. At guard, a six foot junior, number five, Bakari Wallace. At guard, a 5'10 freshman, number 10, Notorious Grooms. And at forward, a 5'11", junior, number 23, Tanner Uphold. We're back with more getting you ready for Uniontown and Montour. Boys High School basketball action. The Pittsburgh Basketball Classic here on WMBS, the Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Go to Ford Uniontown and trade me in. Hello, this is John Clinton, and I want to share with you just how easy it is to purchase an incoming vehicle here at Ford Uniontown. When you arrive, we'll show you all the inbound inventory that we have coming. We'll go over all the packages and equipment, then we'll appraise your current vehicle and put together an offer just for you. When you accept the offer, we tag that vehicle sold and call you when it arrives. It's just that simple. Of course, we'll go over all the purchase and lease incentives to make sure no details are overlooked. Nothing inbound catch your eye and you have a bit more time? We'll be happy to place a factory order special for you. Have you heard about these historic trade values? It's all true and you don't want to miss out. Are you thinking more pre-owned? We have over 100 Ford and non-Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs are ready to move. I have a special thank you for our recent customers that helped us raise $5,000 for the Fayette Friends of Animals and $4,000 for the Fayette County Food Bank. Your car knows, shouldn't you? Top of the hill across from Applebee's or FordofUniontown.com. Dinner's great. It's one of your top three favorite meals. You just don't want to have to make it. Well, with Jimmy John's, you don't have to. Whether you live in a sandwich delivery zone or head into the store, you can always get a freaky fresh sandwich. Click to order at jimmyjohns.com. Freaky fast, freaky good. Order online at jimmyjohns.com or call 724-437-6800 for delivery or curbside pickup. Jimmy John's, next to Walnut Hill Shop and Save. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. 
So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare. Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Are you looking to list or sell your house? Now is the time to let the professionals at Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty help you with all of your real estate needs. Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty has two convenient locations to better serve you. In Uniontown area, 724-437-7100. Or in Connellsville area, 724-628-7200. And speak with one of our real estate professionals. Visit our website, caldwellbanker.com. We have been proudly serving Western Pennsylvania area for over 30 years and look forward to helping you with all of your real estate needs. Broker, Paul Borges. Jr. It's a new year, so what's new for 2022 at Auto Land Hyundai? 2022 will bring a tax refund for many people. So if you're expecting a tax refund, stop in at Auto Land and ask us about our deferred down payment program. That makes buying a new Hyundai easier. Any other special offers? The entire Hyundai lineup has great offers, such as the 2022 Venue Hatchback with 0.9% APR up to 60 months. Or get $750 off with HMF bonus cash. And when the snow arrives, don't get stuck without all-wheel drive. Be prepared. Stop in at Autoland and check out our all-wheel drive Hyundai Konas, Tucson's, and Santa Fe's. And, of course, every new Hyundai comes with America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain protection, and three-year complimentary maintenance. Autoland Hyundai, downtown Uniontown. See them online at autolandhyundai.com. Our phone 724-437-9999. That's 724-437-9999 for Autoland Hyundai. Remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Primer Rosak and Steve Subert back here at Montour High School, about five minutes away from tipping it off tonight. And Steve, this is actually the fifth game of the day here at Montour High School. Opening games, uh, Moon knock off Hopewell, 66 to 45. Game two, it was Blackhawk 64, Baldwin 59. A very entertaining game three. Highlands had the number one team in 4A, Quaker Valley down 20 at halftime. Quaker Valley rallied back in the second half for an 83 to 75 win. In the game that just wrapped up, Our Lady of Sacred Heart defeated Shady Side Academy 81 to 54. And Jake DeMichael, Set a new tournament record here, Steve, with 51 points in that game for Our Lady of Sacred Heart. Wow, we were watching that game, and we weren't really paying attention as we were getting ready for to do this uh, broadcast, but didn't realize he was uh, scoring that many points. Did you? No, 51. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, don't have, uh, they don't have the scoreboard showing how many points everybody has, so it's kind of hard to follow, but uh, just watching these uh, Spartans warm up and uh, – Brian, they look like a, like a college, uh, junior college team out there, the way they, <laughs> as tall as they are and athletic looking as they, they appear to be. Yeah, we mentioned that, Steve, during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. Five senior starters, all returning starters from a playoff team from a year ago that advanced to the WPIL semifinals. You'd expect them to be strong. Yeah. Yeah, strong and big and fast. So the Red Raiders are going to have their, their hands full. Should be a lot of fun. Uniontown head coach Rob Kazmarski talking before the start of the game today with Montour's head coach Bill Manier. And see, both of these guys have been around the block. Bill Manier in his 26th year here at Montour got hired back in 1996. Rob Kazmarski in his 20th year as head coach of the Red Raiders. Yep, they've been uh, both seen a lot of games over the years and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of experience on both both sides of uh, both, both benches this year. Uh, this evening, so it should be a lot of fun. And these programs could have met in the WPIL playoffs a year ago. Montour actually played Beaver in the first round. Remember, Uniontown played Beaver in a preliminary round game, and if Uniontown would have knocked off Beaver, these two schools would have met in a WPIL first round playoff game a season ago. Well, yeah, they would have, but they didn't. <laughs> right? No, they didn't. They didn't because Uniontown yeah. did not win that yeah. preliminary round playoff game. No real recent history between these two schools, but Laurel Highlands did play Montour in a preliminary round playoff game back in 2015 that you actually did with Tony at Peters Township High School. That was a game won by Laurel Highlands over Montour. So a little 
history with the county, but no history with Uniontown, at least as of late. Taking a look at some results from last night here on WMBS, we brought you Laurel Highland 75 to 41 win over Thomas Jefferson. West Mifflin, a surprising win over Albert Gallatin last night, 80 to 64. And Ringgold, who the Mustangs will see on Tuesday, knocked off Connellsville, 62 to 43. Down in the Red Raiders Conference, Section 3 and 4A. Bell Vernon down. South Moreland 59 to 42, Elizabeth Forward 61, Mount Pleasant 42, and South Park and Yock were postponed last night. 3A games from last night: McGuffey over Beth Center 60 to 45, Washington down Brentwood 63 to 48, and it was Waynesburg a three-point win over Charleroi 49 to 46. 2A finals from last night: Manesson over Jefferson Morgan 59 to 42, Fraser at California and Bentworth at Carmichael's. Both of those games were postponed last night, and Bishop Canavan a 1A win over West Green last night. Geibel was supposed to host Propel Montour. That was postponed. Avella at Mapletown also postponed. And see, we saw that Our Lady of Sacred Heart team in action. Very impressive over Shadyside Academy right before the Uniontown Montour game. And last night, Our Lady of Sacred Heart defeated Southside Beaver 82 to 46. That win stretched their record winning streak to 53 games, breaking the old record of 52 that was set by Uniontown. During, from a stretch from 1963 to 1965 and also Washington from 1983 to 1985. So Our Lady of Sacred Heart, now the all-time WPIL record holder for consecutive wins spanning a couple of seasons. The way they're playing this year, Steve, at least the way they looked yeah. against Shadyside Academy, I don't think they're going to be losing any games anytime soon. No, they certainly looked impressive. Uh, of course, it's a little different. Uh, they're... Uh What'd you say, a non-boundary school? Yes, a non-boundary school. And you brought that up, Steve. And on Friday, a group of about 20 athletic directors from boundary schools actually met together on a Zoom call. And they're petitioning the WPIL to have separate conferences for football next year for boundary and non-boundary schools before the schedules come out next week. I don't think it will happen, but it's interesting that we're not the only ones with that same mindset. Well, basically saying that they're allowed to, to pick players from where they want. They're not bringing in kids that can't play, right? They're, they're, I don't know if it's, you want to call it recruiting, but uh, it is what it is. But, uh, hey, it's the way of the world, Brian. You know, it's uh, the rich get richer, right? Yes, yeah. that's the way things have certainly gone here over the last couple of years. We're back with the opening tip-off right after this. Uniontown and Montour Pittsburgh Basketball Classic from the Montour Athletic Center here on WMBS, the Triple I High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sproul's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Going on now at Steve Harper Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $279 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit SteveHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is for GMF or well-qualified individual. 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 4,500 cash trade equity with lease loyalty or lease complex payment. It's for cash title fees and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends January 31st, 2022. All supplies last. Residency restrictions apply. Call viewer for all the details at 724-99-8000. With branches in Markleysburg, Connellsville, Hopwood, Uniontown, and Periopolis, Somerset Trust Company is truly Fayette County's community bank. We invite you to stop by and experience the Somerset Trust Company difference. Local decision making, convenient locations, extended hours, award-winning online and mobile banking, and more. Somerset Trust Company, community banking worth talking about. Branches and ATMs throughout Fayette County. Mom Maruka's Pizza Shop, located at 624 Barton Mill Road in Uniontown, is your prime place to enjoy local high school sports. Mom Maruka's is family-owned and operated where pride of ownership certainly shows. The Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, subs, and wings. Mom Maruka's is open Monday through Saturday, 4 to 10, for indoor-outdoor dining and takeout. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarukaPizza.com for their menu. 
For attorney Melinda Della Rose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Della Rose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Della Rose. 724-437-3200, 724-437-3200, or online at DelaRoseLaw.com. Brian Morozak and Steve Subert back here at the Montour Athletic Center, just about set to go. The Uniontown Red Raiders and the Montour Spartans. And Steve, your buddy John Tucci did a great job of the national anthem. He does a lot of the national anthems for Robert Morris. He's your buddy. You're the one that you introduced to Tony and I. So, yeah, he's a theatrical sort, isn't he? He likes to entertain, and he did a good job at that tonight. So, let's hope the game is as entertaining as that uh, rendition of the National Anthem. The Montour Spartans and the Golds tonight. Black numbers, white trim. Their bench off to our left. Union Town of their away Maroons with white numbers. Their bench off to our right. Referees tonight, Jordan Grady, Rob Campano, and Chris Healy. And you're right, Steve. This Montour team looks very athletic tonight. They look like one of those teams at the national championship at the Penn State uh, campus games we did over the years. Look like one of those... Uh, you know, uh, guys from uh, from New York or Michigan or wherever they used to come in from, and uh, they look uh, <laughs> they don't look like high school kids. I can no. say that. <laughs> Let's just say that could be a stern test for the Red yeah. Raiders tonight. We'll see how they respond again. It's Stevenson, Del Tondo, Elam, Pinkett, and Mosley for the Spartans. Perkins, Winfrey, Wallace, Grooms, and Uphold for the Uniontown Red Raiders, and we're set to go. It'll be Jordan Grady to toss it up. And we'll get this matchup underway. Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. Second time the Red Raiders have played here. They knocked off Ambridge two seasons ago. <laughs> Center circle. Look at that. Isaiah Mosley shaking hands there with Tanner Uphold. Tanner Uphold gave him a little laugh like, like I'm not even going to jump. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the opening tab controlled yeah. off to Vasson Stevenson for Montour. And we're underway. Pulled back their edge of the zone by Del Tondo. And good ball movement into the corner there to Pinquette's. And up top again, another touch there from Del Tondo, and they're going to swing it around here. Good ball movement, a little hop step, and wow. a quick foul called on the drive from Stevenson. That's probably going to be on uh, Perkins, you would think. Oh, no, they, they put it on uh, Wallace. And I thought actually it was, you're right, I thought it was going to be on Perkins, but that's uh, Wallace absolutely forearm chopped him <laughs> down, uh, took his, almost took his arm off. And they are posting the player fouls up on the scoreboard, so we'll certainly have that to pay was, attention yeah. to the officials here tonight as Stevenson makes the first of two free throws. He's 59% for the season, 31 of 52, second of two on the way, and good again for Stevenson. So the Spartans, the opening two points of the game, leading Uniontown 2 to nothing, and they're going to press the Red Raiders a little bit, but Notorious Grooms able to get out of it. Down the court, Perkins touch off to Wallace, and he gets fouled right of the lane, and you don't see too many teams. Steve, press Uniontown. Not over the years, no. That foul was on number three. That's Stevenson. It'll be Bakari Wallace heading to the free throw line for Uniontown to shoot two. Bakari, 34 of 63 for the season, 54%. First of two here up out of the way and good for Bakari Wallace. Only 27 seconds into this game. Each team has had an opportunity to shoot free throws. Now Wallace for a second of two. Up on the way, and good for Bakari Wallace. So we're knotted up at two, and now the Red Raiders will press Montour a little bit here in the backcourt. Isaiah Mosley, Steve, looks like a beast out there. He had it touch, sent across on the far side to Pinquette, back to Mosley, their edge of the zone, fires a pass down while underneath Stevenson. Good defense from Perkins, but they keep it alive. Swing it out in front, tough shot, not going there for Elam, and Uniontown with the rebound, and it's actually Winfrey out of the pack with it there for the Red Raiders. Calvin, jumper from the foul line, good. Calvin Winfrey, the third. Uniontown leads by two at four to two here early on. We played, yes, played less than a minute. Here's Del Tondo and center cross. Good ball movement on the far side and a layup up and in there for Pinquets. Dion Pinquets ties the game up at four. Actually put on some lights for us up here, yeah, Steve. Yeah, that was so uh, uh, helpful. And had the feeling of one of those old Uniontown football games where they used to turn off all the lights. We had our flashlights out. 
Here's Bakari Wallace driving baseline far side, puts it off the glass and in. So Wallace for the six for the Red Raiders. Unions had a two-point lead at 6-4 to four here at the 6:31 right. mark of the opening quarter. Red Raiders putting a little pressure on. Impress Mosley swings it across off the glass. A miss there from Pinquette. Stevenson tried to tip it in. A couple of opportunities. Finally, Stevenson able to put it up and in. And Basin Stevenson now has four tied at six. Grooms drives back. Got blocked there by Elam. Goes out of bounds. We'll stay with the Red Raiders here in the Montour zone. 6.09 left here in the first game. Tied at six. Brian Morozak along with Steve Super. Tony Hanola behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. A little leaner and a miss there from Winfrey. Rebound pulled down by Elam. Breaking back. And down low, driving and scoring there, Mosley. He's going to be tough tonight, Steve. Isaiah Mosley getting that two to go. Montour goes up two at eight to six. And the Red Raiders turn it over. Aaron passed there as Winfrey was looking for uphold on the far side. They weren't on the same page, and Montour will get it back. But I don't know if Uniontown has an answer, though, Steve, for Mosley down low. 6'6", six, six senior forward came in averaging 13 points and five and a half rebounds a game. Del Tondo in the backcourt brings it across. Touch there for Mosley. Back to Del Tondo here on the near side. Kicked in the corner there to Pinquette. Back up top, Del Tondo knocked down by Uphold. He's had a great week for the Red Raiders. Uphold drives back. Might have been goaltending. It's going to be goaltending. That shot going down when Mosley got a piece of it. So scored the two for Uphold, and we're tied at eight. We've seen Uphold Steve play over the last couple of years, and this week by far the best week, I think, of his whole high school career. Well, he had some big threes against Brownsville. Played well against Laurel Highlands. Had an incredible stat line Tuesday against South Moreland as well. Here's Elam. Far side. Had a poke down of bounds. We'll stay with Montour here in the Uniontown zone. I'm a little bit surprised, Steve. We don't have more fans here for Montour playing at home on a Saturday night. It's only five degrees outside, though. <laughs> it's pretty chilly out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm still surprised. Nice and warm here in the gym. They won't have more of a home crowd here, especially as strong as... Their team has played this year at 11-3. Three. three ball near side off the back iron. No good. That was from Jake Wolf who just checked in. Red Raiders break back. A drive and a miss there from Grooms. Rebound underneath. Pulled down by Mosley. He's looking for an outlet pass. Down to Stevenson who lays it up and in with a left hand. Mason Stevenson has six of the ten so far from on tour. Spartans lead by two at 10-8. Here's Grooms. Baseline Perkins. Perkins now rotates back to the wing. Switches there with Winfrey. Back in the corner there to Notorious. He'll pull it back in Calvin's direction. Now back out again. Again to Grooms here on the reset. Tough match up there with Mosley in his face. Perkins sets the screen. Sent out to Uphold. He'll launch the three for the lead and connect from the far wing. Tanner Uphold knocks it down, and the Red Raiders go on top 11 to 10. 435 left here in the first. Union Town coming to play tonight, Steve. Here's Elam coming back. Foul there by Perkins. No doubt about that one. He mauled him. Perkins uh, not going to let anybody get an easy basket. First on Perkins, second team foul on the Red Raiders. Bakari Wallace picked up the first. And now you'll have Tariq Elam head of the foul line. He's 62% for the season, 18 of 29. Came in averaging 10 points and six rebounds a game. He made the first of two here, Steve. To tie the game at 11. Now Elam for a second of two. Up on the way and good for Elam. Montour now on top by one at 12 to 11. Grooms in the backcourt. Again, a little pressure here for Montour, and they force the turnover. It's Del Tondo on the loose ball, sending it down off to Mosley. was looking for a wolf, went out of bounds, and they're going to rule Montour basketball. Last touch by Uniontown going out on the far side. So the press, effective that time, Steve, for the Spartans. Yeah, just a cut, uh, created a little confusion for the Red Raiders. Mosley took it out, got it back. They reset up top. Stevenson a lot of contact in the lane. Might have been a charge, not called. Kicked in the corner, missing there on the three. Mosley, battle for the rebound, kept alive up top. Del Tondo, he'll kick it back near side. Stevenson, pressure there by Wallace, and Bakari's going to pick up his second foul of this opening quarter. Well, Mosley, so far, he's uh, seemed to be wanting to hang around outside of that three-point arc, which is a, I mean, I think that's a bonus for Uniontown, he's not going to go down low and use that size to his advantage. I agree. He'll trigger it in here. Back up top, Stevenson. And Mosley will get it back again from the far corner. Mosley for the season has knocked down 11-3. So he has had the ability to hit the three ball. 
Sent in the near corner, Elam down low, a little juggle from Stevenson. Ball loose, Perkins finds it and takes it away. Good defense again from the Red Raiders. Off to Winfrey and across. Calvin Winfrey the third, high on the right, back between the circles to Wallace, and nobody off to his left. Winfrey comes over to help. Thought about a long three, sends it off to Grooms. Back up top now to Upholt, to his right to Winfrey. Far side, Bakari Wallace, fronted there by Stevenson. Works off to his left, will spin on the inside, will get him for the travel. Had a little drag there on the drive on the inside. The Red Raiders make a couple of substitutions. McLee and Townsend into the game, replacing Perkins and Bakari Wallace. And again, Wallace, two fouls on him. Perkins has a foul as well for Uniontown here in the opening five minutes. Yeah, but so far, pretty good uh, performance by the Red Raiders to stay in this game. I have to think they're happy with it. Here's Mosley. Kicked in the far corner. Pinquette thought about the three. Resets on the wing back to Del Tondo. Up, up top again, Mosley. Floater no good. Got it back. Fights back inside another miss. Third attempt on the possession. Again, no good. And finally cleaning it up on the far block, Tariq Elam. So they had four shots on that possession, Steve, before Elam was able to connect. It's 14-11 Montour. Uphold drives back. Tough shot. Got it to go and won. Tanner uphold again, Steve. He has seven here in the opening quarter. Red Raiders back to within one, and uphold heads to the foul line. And that foul goes on Elam. Didn't He didn't necessarily agree with the call, but uh, uphold just driving down, threw up a floater from the right, right uh, side of the block as he was going, uh, streaking down the court, and he threw it up with some nice touch. And a free throw up on the way, but no good off the front of the rim. But whatever they're feeding Elam or whatever they're feeding uh, Uphold this week, Steve, they need to continue doing that. I mean, he has had a tremendous week for Uniontown, and it's continued here in the opening quarter tonight. But Montour leads by one at 14 to 13. Del Tondo has it up top, sends it off to his right there to Jake Wolf. Watched there by Winfrey. Kicked in the corner to Pinquette. Back to Wolf. Far side Del Tondo again. And now Mosley, a touch in the corner. There are no hurry, Steve, just working it around the arc. And I think Coach K would be probably pleased to let them let the clock run a little bit. The longer this game stays close, the better for Uniontown. I think, uh, you know, Montour on their home floor may get a little tight if the Red Raiders hang around too long. I agree. Up top again, Pinquette for three. Out the back iron, no good. Big time offensive rebound picked up there by Elam who lays it up and in and draws the foul in the process. How did Elam get free underneath Steve to pick up that rebound? Yeah, they got the foul on Evan Townsend. Yeah, Townsend checked in, picks up a foul. And of course, Elam's bigger, wider, and probably can jump better than anybody UG10 has on the roster, and he's not even close to being their tallest player. He makes the free throw. He's three of three now from the free throw line. It's a 17-13 lead for Montour over Uniontown as we go under two minutes. Left here in the opening quarter. Grooms for three off the mark underneath. Rebound pulled down there by Eagle. Almost sent it off to Del Tondo. We'll slow things down here for Montour. Up, threw it away. And threw it away. Unforced air there from Del Tondo. Was looking for Mosley. Went out of bounds on the far side. Red Raiders get it back. Down Ford, 17-13. 148 left here in the first. You have 24, Caleb Platts checking in now. Only a freshman. He's a big kid for a freshman, isn't he? All these kids big on the Montour side. Townsend back to Notorious Grooms. 10 on 10 there, watched by Pinquets. Back to Townsend, looking for operating room. Might be tough for Townsend to get those open threes off tonight. Edge of the zone. Good defense there as Grooms had a little tiptoe. Now floats one from the lane, high off the glass and in. Tory Grooms, his first two of the game, had the Red Raiders back to within two at 17 to 15. 117 left here in the opening quarter. Grooms did a nice job there. Steve was close to an over and back there, edge of the zone, but able to keep it alive and connect there for Union Town. The Red Raiders back to within two again. There's Jake Wolf, three from the far wing, rattling out. Uphold another rebound for Union Town. Off to Grooms and across. Kicked in the corner. Winfrey for three in the lead on the way off the side of the rim. No good. Long rebound. Controlled there by the freshman Caleb Platts. Down the floor. Look out here. Driving and scoring Isaiah Mosley. Four for Mosley. As Montour goes back up for 19 to 15. Evan Townsend far side. Needs a little help. Lost the dribble. Pulls it up. Edge of the zone Dangerous. there. Uphold. Yes, it was. Dangerous pass from Townsend back out to Uphold at the top of the uh, circle above the almost at the 
center court line. Winfrey on it now. Tough shot. Won't drop. Rebound pulled down there by Montours Mosley. Home run ball down the court and getting fouled on the drive there. Pinquette. It'll be uphold. Called for the foul. Spartans lead by four at 19 to 15 and they'll have two free throws upcoming. Pinquette for the season. Steve 67% from the foul line. 23 of 37. Two points here in the opening quarter, but misses on his first of two free throws here. Montour is a team, 68% from the free throw line. Second of two free throws short out the front of the rim underneath. Uniontown rebound pulled down there again by Uphold. See if the Red Raiders hold for the last shot in the quarter. Uphold looking to drive, and he gets fouled. I think they're going to call it here on the floor. See who they get it on here, Steve. The Pinquette. Dion's first. Yep. Third team foul on the Spartans. Red Raiders send it in. So up, hold on the wing to Townsend. Back to Notorious Grooms. Try to go down low. Up, hold, got deflected back. Then on the shot attempt, got wedged between the glass and the rim. Now they go to the possession arrow on that. And it favors Uniontown with 7.6 left. And Grooms will work it in. Send it into Mickalee, back over, looking for Winfrey, and they're going to roll out of bounds off of Platson out. The Montour faithful don't like the call. 5.4 left on the clock, so you need to tell one last crack at it here in the opening frame. He'll be uphold to trigger it in. Into the backcourt there, Grooms needs to hurry, gets it back across. Notorious driving, putting it up. Missed on the shot attempt, Montour the rebound, and that'll do it for one quarter of basketball. So here at the Montour Athletic Center, it's Montour 19, Uniontown 15. We're back with the second quarter in 60 seconds here on the CR Prada Group, High School Sports Night. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Drydop Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Drydop Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. They are conveniently located at 1310 Pittsburgh Road in Uniontown. But look for Uniontown Detailing in February at a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Prime Rosak, Steve Super back here at the Montour Athletic Center. The mayor of Hopwood, Tony Hanula, behind the camera tonight, doing a great job. No complaints, Steve, on the Facebook Live feed. I think they like you. It's early. He said it's early. Nick Barczyk back in town, our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Nice to have you along with us for a Saturday night of high school basketball here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Have to say hello to our buddy. Billy Dice. Billy wishes he could be here tonight. Steve was actually coaching his junior high basketball team. They had a tournament up at Hempfield. Hopefully they did well this afternoon as well. I know he's written on the Red Raiders tonight as well. Here's Mosley sending it off there to Pinkett. Now Mosley again near side touch Del Tondo off to his right again to Elam. And they'll reset it up to Mosley again. Mosley thought about the long two. Goes off to his left there to Stevenson. And back out to Pinquette for three. Rattles out. Perkins the rebound there for Union Tech. Send it off to Winfrey and across. And the Red Raiders have to be encouraged with a start so far tonight as Bakari Wallace will launch the three and hit it. Bakari Wallace has the Red Raiders back to within one at 19 to 18. See, that's only the third three that Wallace has hit this season. Yeah, he doesn't... Uh he doesn't shoot from outside that much. He's more of a slasher and gets those rebounds around the basket. Spartans trying to answer back. Missing there on a three is uh, Mosley. Ball goes out of bounds. Perkins. Will be ruled Montour's basketball as Perkins lost the handle. Uh, he lost the handle. He threw it. Almost took off Tanner Uphold's head with the uh, outlet pass. He threw it right at the top of his head. And he, he actually looked like uh, Chris, Christian Jari uh, ducking a slap shot there. He had to duck. Duck, and the ball went right out of bounds. Spartans get it back. Reset here in the Red Raiders zone. Del Tondo trying to hand off down low. Bakari deflected it. But picking it up was Elam, who drew the foul underneath. That's either going to be on Bakari or Perkins. Let's see who they 
tag it with. It's going to be on Perkins, his second. I think better than having it on Bakari and be Bakari's third. Bakari only has one. That's what I have him for. But that, what do you have? No, he has two. He picked up two early on. First of two free throws, no good for Elam. It's three of four from the free throw line. Still a one-point lead for Montour over Uniontown at 19-18. Elam second on the way. This one rattles in. So Tariq Elam with eight tonight for the Spartans. They lead by two at 20 to 18. Red Raiders bring it back across. Bakari Wallace up top. Switches back with Winfrey. Works here between the circles. A little juggle. Good save there from Tori Grooms. Notorious fronted there by Del Tondo. Now backs off 90 seconds into the second quarter. Well, you can see, I think Coach K wants to run a little bit of clock here, especially with Wallace getting a, a, a second foul. Perkins down low, tough shot, couldn't get it to go, try to follow it up, another miss. And underneath Stevenson, the rebound there for Montour. Send it off to Del Tondo, we'll slowly bring it across now for the Spartans. Set the screen up top with Pinquette, who will now get it on the far side, back to Del Tondo. Near side, Mosley coming near baseline, tough shot, couldn't get it to go. Rebound, tipped around and out of bounds, it'll be Montour's basketball at will. Both Wallace and Perkins had a shot at it there for the Red Raiders. Couldn't hang on underneath. And Mosley will be the trigger man with the Spartans leading Uniontown by two at 28-18. And Mosley will send it in there to Del Tondo. Back to his left again to Stevenson. Stevenson left of the lane. Pulls it out again to Mosley. And now Del Tondo on the wing. Down low again to Stevenson. He's double teamed. And Bakari Wallace rips the ball away. Numbers coming back for the Red Raiders. Touch from Grooms. Down to Uphold who drives and scores. Wow, good job. Good break by everybody there. Wallace Grooms get it out. Perkins got it away. Out of the on the outlet. There's a long three. We're tied at 20. And off the mark there. Mosley ill-advised. Look out here. Coming back. Calvin Winfrey gives Union down the lead at 22 to 20. So what a performance here for Uniontown on this Saturday night at Montour. A second quarter lead up two at 22 to 20. Stevenson down low, was looking for Elam. Ball got deflected away, three on two coming back. Grooms down to up, a little juggle. Travel. He's gonna be called for the travel. Just couldn't haul it in underneath. Go too, a little too fast. He, and he got the ball and he kinda just, just uh, like you said, he bobbled it. I don't know if it was a travel, but it just didn't look right, so the official called a travel. You can't have the tra uh, travel if you don't have the ball in your hands, Correct. can you? A lot of excitement, though, on the Uniontown side, and you can you really can't blame them, Steve, for going a little fast. Playing well here early on. See if they can keep it going. Pinquette gives Montour the lead back. Big three up top. He has five, and the Spartans go up one at 23-22. Now Grooms back across. Been a fun one so far tonight at the Montour Athletic Center. Grooms, far wing, Bakari Wallace from the far wing and incoming baseline. Try to pull it back out. No one home. Del Tondo finds the loose ball there for Montour. Del Tondo kicks it on the wing. Wolf, little ball fake. Back to his left to Mosley. Mosley double team. Try to fire it down low right through Elam and out of bounds and back over to Uniontown. Boy, Mosley, for as big as he is, he likes to play on the outside. You're right on that. You'll have Platts now into the game. They'll give Mosley a little break. He looks a lot older than a high school senior. He does. <laughs> Here's Grooms back across. Grooms on the following. It'll switch there with Calvin Winfrey. Winfrey now working up top. Backs off. Barks out of play here for the Red Raiders. Uniontown down one midway through the second quarter. Winfrey still dancing there for the Red Raiders. Nice move around Pinquette. Floats one up and in. Calvin Winfrey, four here in the second, six for the game. Union's out back on top at 24 to 23. 350 left before halftime. Penultimate game of the night here at the Montour Athletic Center. It'll be Penn Hills battling North Allegheny in the nightcap. Three from the outside. Good there from the sophomore, Jake Wolf. As his first points of the game come from outside the arc, and Montour takes the lead back 
at 26 to 24. Grooms trying to answer back though for Uniontown. His three ball and air ball. And Caleb Platt will bring it back across here for Montour. He's double teamed off to Wolf. Hot hand right now. Fires another three. This one short off the front of the rim. Up hold the rebound. Sends it down the floor to Winfrey. Winfrey driving it on. Platt's got fouled. And Winfrey will have two free throws upcoming. The freshman Platt's picks up the personal. And went for an opportunity to tie the game here at the foul line for the season. Calvin just 58%. Well, Winfrey didn't have much there. He just decided to drive in and from the right block, kind of coming off the wing and just tried to create some contact and throw up a one high off the glass and hope for the best. Made the first of two free throws. Red Raiders back to within one at 26 to 25. Calvin's dad and assistant coach on this Uniontown team. His grandfather, a long time score for Uniontown. Calvin second free throw. On the way and good again. And this game knotted up now at 26. 314 left before halftime. Dante Del Tondo will bring it back across Tavian Richardson into the game now on the Uniontown side. Del Tondo sends it off on the far side now to Platts. Platts back in the corner, open look for three. Pinquette drains it. Left hander. His second made three of the quarter, Steve. He has eight points for the game. And the Spartans go back up three at 29 to 26. Winfrey edge of the zone. Calvin up top, little juggle back to Bakari Wallace. Switches now with Grooms. Floater from just inside the foul line off the mark. Rebound pulled down there by Mosley. Mosley is in a travel, not called. Pulls it back to Del Tondo. I think they missed one there as Del Tondo spins back through center. Del Tondo back out of the far wing. Pinquette again for a three. This one too strong at the back iron. Long rebound. Richardson pulls it down. Forward to Winfrey. Winfrey left of the lane. Backs out over to Bakari Wallace. Bakari trying to come near baseline. Try to spin off of Elam. Tough shot. Couldn't get it to go. Richardson going for the rebound. Couldn't find it. Fouled by Del Tondo. Outlet pass forward underneath the basket. And one for Pinquette again. He's hot right now, Steve. Eight here in the second. Ten for the game. He has a free throw upcoming. And the Spartans go up five at 31 That's to 26. On Wallace. That'll be his third then, right? Correct. He's going to check out. He'll have Evan Townsend in. And Coach Kesmarski has to pull him right now, Steve. Third personal foul. 209 left before halftime. Five point game. Now the free throw for Dion Pinquette. Good. He has nine here in the second 11 for the game, and it's a six-point lead for Montour. Important stretch of this game now for Uniontown. Down six as we go under two minutes left before halftime. Crooms on the switch there with Townsend. Evan Townsend up top, looking to drive, just lost the handle, able to regain. Take a jumper left of the lane to connect. Evan Townsend, well, unconventional, Steve. He does most of his damage outside the arc. We got a two to go there to pull the Red Raiders back to within four, 32 to 28. Yeah, he just got a little, a little out of sorts there, and all of a sudden he turned around and everybody was went away from him. Another quick two, Mosley drove, missed initially, got it back and laid it up and in. He has six, lead back to six for Montour, 34-28. And another shot high off the glass and in for Notorious Grooms. Just his second field goal of the game. He has four Red Raiders back to within four. At 34 to 30. 115 left before halftime. Good defense. Richardson knocked it away there from Mosley. Back on it. Grooms drives back inside, and the shot rattled out. Try to toss that one in over Mosley. Thought it was going to go down. Here's Del Tondo back on the other side. Juggle from Mosley. Saved here on the near side. Platts comes inside. A lot of contact. No foul called. And that was Levi Garner that checked in. Had the big play. Setting up the court and scooping and scoring there. Notorious Grooms. Just like that, Steve. Uniontown back to within two at 34 to 32. Wow. Fortunate they did not call a foul on Townsend on the, when the drive coming in from Platts. You've got some big plays here from Garner who set the last one up. Townsend on the Jumper and also Richardson who forced the last turnover. Some of the bench guys stepping up. Red Raiders back to within two. See if Montour takes it down, down to 23 seconds. I think if you're the Red Raiders, you're happy to let them take oh, I it agree. down. The longer this stays close, the better. They're within striking distance against one of the top teams in 4A. Here's Del Tondo pulling it back up top. That's the freshman Platt straining the three. So the young guy can shoot. Spartans go back up five. Red Raiders look at the last shot. They can get one away here, but Townsend turns it over, and from three-quarter court, no good, but a good look. <laughs> Went through the lights. Yes, from Pinquette. 
So we've reached halftime. It's a five-point lead for Montour for Uniontown at 37-32. to 32. We'll recap the first half scoring for you in a moment here on WMBS, the Trim Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Simply Sweet, a party boutique. Located at 21 North Basin Avenue is the sweetest little boutique in the area. Simply Sweet is filled with Valentine's Day party decor, paper goods, and gifts for your favorite Valentine, Galentine, or Sweet Little Time. Surprise someone special this Valentine's Day or any time with one balloon or a bunch from Simply Sweet's Balloon Bar. Simply call 724-317-4929. Simply Sweet Boutique also specializes in balloon decor, event rentals, and event planning. Going on now at Sea Harbor Chevy East. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $279 a month. Security deposit waves. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarborChevyEast.com. Chevrolet, find New roads. Please exclude GMS for well-qualified individuals. 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. For 4,500 cash rate equity, with loyalty or new conquest. Payment is for tax, settle fees, and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends January 31st, 2022. Well supplies last. Residency restrictions apply. Call dealer for all other details at 724-668-2231. Lease plumbing and excavating, helping area residents with residential and commercial plumbing, gas, electric, and water lines, along with paving, concrete, and excavation site work for over 30 years. Building a new home. Lease does utility installation of water, gas, and sewage lines. Lees does maintenance work on all existing homes, too. Call 724-245-2950. That's 724-245-2950 for your quote. Lees wishes all the area basketball teams good luck this season from Lees Plumbing and Excavating. Hi, I'm Russ Playho. As your local Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something I take, well, personally. I'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto home and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs. I can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. Are you in good hands? Contact me, Russ Blaho, for a free quote. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. I'm attorney Rob Harper, and I'm happy to be joining Bill Martin and Trip Radcliffe at Radcliffe Law in Uniontown. I grew up in Uniontown and chose to make Fayette County my home. I also represent the county as an assistant district attorney, and I know my way around a courtroom. If you are hurt in an accident, buying or selling a home, need assistance with an estate or will preparation, call me at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. The initial consultation is free. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. I'm worried about this winter weather. How are we going to get to the grocery store for the next few months? I'm not too comfortable driving in the snow anymore, and with your disability, you definitely can't drive. You know, the last time I went to the doctor's office, they're talking about fact. Fact? Yeah, Fayette Area Coordinated Transportation. Fact will come to the house and pick us up. They have fixed routes to places like Pittsburgh and Uniontown, even Nimical and Woodlands. Fact also has a shared ride program that schedules you to go to places like the doctor's office or the grocery store. Well, you know, the grandkids will be at our house when school's canceled. Fact lets anyone ride the fixed route bus, and children under 12, accompanied by an adult, ride for free, as do us seniors age 65 and up. Wow, Fact might be the right answer for us this winter. Do you have their number? Yes, it's 724-628-RIDE or factbus.com. It's a fact, we're saying county. We're back here at the Montour Athletic Center, 37-32. The Montour Spartans, the lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders. Steve, I have to give a shout-out to the Uniontown Junior High team. They're listening on the way home from Hempfield tonight. Of course, they played in a tournament up there, coached by Billy Dice. So, hello to all the Uniontown Junior High team. Appreciate you tuning in on the way back. Hopefully, you had success uh, this afternoon. Go future Red Raiders. Yes. And you have our first half stats. They're brought to you by Peachin's Pharmacy, located inside the downtown Connellsville Peachin Market. Okay, for the Red Raiders, Calvin Winfrey finishes with six points. Bakari Wallace with nine. Grooms, Notorious Grooms with six. Tanner Uphold, uh, nice first half with nine. And Townsend with two. They scored 15 in the first, 17 in the second, 32 at the half. 
for the Spartans. Stevenson finishes with six points. Elam with eight. Pinquette with 11. Wolf with three. Mosley with six. And Platts, the freshman, hits a three-pointer. He has three. 19 in the first, 18 in the second for a 37-32 halftime lead. Been a fun first half, Steve. It has been. Good back and forth basketball. Montour and Uniontown are back with a second half right after the Spartans 37, Red Raiders 32 here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. When it's time to service your vehicle, don't procrastinate. Call Rose Motors at 724-583-1944. Rose Motors, specializing in computer diagnostics, engine and electrical problems, brake service, electronic tune-ups, air conditioning repair, exhaust work, state inspection, and more. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? See Rose Motors, where financing is also available. Rose Motors, 42 River Avenue in Mason Town. Serving the area for three generations. Open Monday through Friday, 830 to 5, Saturday by appointment. PMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis. Representing you and your neighbor yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. <laughs> It's year-end clearance time at Thurby's Riverside Ford. This is the time and this is the place. With Truck Month incentives, get 0% Ford credit financing for 60 months on new 2021 Ford F-150s in stock. Ford F-150, the toughest truck for the toughest jobs and the best-selling truck on the planet for 45 years. During our year-end clearance, take advantage of 0% Ford credit financing incentives on all new 2021 Ford Ranger, Explorer, and Edge. Come and experience your presidential award-winning dealer, Thurby's Riverside Ford, located one mile past Lady Luck Casino. Approved Ford Motor Credit financing required. Offer ends January 30th, 2022. Stop in and see Sammy, Ashley, Jimmy, or Joey. KC Sports Cafe, owned by the Vernon family, is located on South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Casey's has reopened for dining services with new hours Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Meals are home cooked and arranged from a variety of steaks, chicken and veal parmesan, liver and onions, along with appetizers, salads, wings, and sandwiches. Casey's offers free delivery in the Uniontown area with purchases of $10 or more. Phone 724-550. 4126 for Casey Sports Cafe. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. You know the importance of planning for retirement, and you plan to enjoy a long and healthy life after you retire. But it's also important to plan for the possibility of needing care on a long-term basis. As life expectancies grow in the U.S., the potential need for long-term care grows as well. A Northwestern Long-Term Care Insurance Company policy can help pay for the care you may need. To learn more, call John R. Ritchie today, 724-550-4414. That's 724-550-4414 for John R. Ritchie. Find more snuggle time this winter and be prepared for the cold with the help of First Federal Savings and Loan of Greene County. With a home improvement loan, a home equity loan, or a home equity line of credit, you can finally upgrade that old furnace, take care of that leaking roof, or replace those outdated floors. Keep the cold out and the warm and cozy in your home this winter. Visit a loan officer today or apply online at firstfederalofgreen.com. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. 
Member of the IC Equal Housing Lender. And my last number, 458-729. Prime Rosak and Steve Super back here at the Montour Athletic Center. 37-32, Montour leading Uniontown. Good first half. Steve, hope it continues here in the second half on the Uniontown side. The Red Raiders being led so far tonight by Tanner Uphold with 9, Calvin Winfrey with 8, Pinquette with 11 on the Montour side. The Uniontown's basketball here to start the third quarter. Well, the Red Raiders played pretty well, I thought, the uh, the first half. Uh, you know, this uh, Spartan team kind of surprised me with the size that they have for those couple of those big guys to like to stay out and hang out around outside that three-point arc, which is a uh, is a bonus for the Red Raiders. The only problem with that is they're out there guarding. He's guarding grooms out there, and he's made life a little tougher for notorious grooms. Uh, to score, but uh, Upholt's picked up a little bit of slack, and so is uh, uh, Wallace. So let's see how the Red Raiders uh, make some adjustments here in the second half. Winfrey out to Grooms. Quick three, good. What a way to start the third yeah. quarter. Torrey Grooms. Yeah, he got away from, um, from Mosley that time and went over to the wing and got off a quick. Uh, he was a, it was a catch and shoot. Didn't take long. Little juggle. Baseline drive near side of the finish. Isaiah Mosley, he's tough. Mosley with eight, and it's 39-35. Montour of Reuniontown, 30 seconds into this third quarter. Uphold back to Grooms. Now fronted there by Stevenson. Grooms will back off here high on the right. Directs traffic. Grooms staying with it off on the near wing. Uphold. He's fronted there by Mosley. He'll come baseline near side. Pull it back out. Bakari Wallace comes off to his left, and now Winfrey, another touch up top. Calvin Winfrey, a seam floater in the lane. Good for wow. Calvin Winfrey. He likes that shot, Steve. Yeah, he likes that little drive in the lane and then just pull up like he, like he doesn't know where he wants to go, but it's planned, and he just kind of flicks it up over the defense, and he's made a couple of those tonight. Mosley and Pinquette play catch. Far side, Del Tondo. Far baseline, Elam. Elam leaning and drawing the foul. Shot attempt no good, but he'll have two free throws upcoming, and they got Perkins there for his third. Yeah, Perkins, now you're going to get some problems. <laughs> Coach K's going to have some problems. He loses Perkins, and he has Wallace and Perkins with three. And the depth played pretty well at late in that second quarter, but I don't know if he wants to go to that too long, but he's going to let Perkins stay in there. It'll help there, miss free throw from Elam, who's now four of six from the foul line. And Elam with a nice hop step through the lane, kind of. Little bunny hop got himself in and out of traffic. Both free throws missed there by Elam. Uniontown the rebound. Grooms back across. There's Notorious near wing uphold. Works off to his left. A little switch there with Grooms. Pulled back Calvin Winfrey. A little mini weave up top. Uphold now on it. Uphold pulls back. Grooms three on the way. Hit it again. Torrey Grooms. Big time shot there for the Red Raiders. Grooms six here in the third. 12 for the game. And Uniontown on top now. 40 to 39. 6.45 left here in the third. Red Raiders staying in it here in the third quarter against a very talented Montour team on the road. Tough shot in traffic. No good there. Mosley offensive rebound brought down. Put back up. Another miss there from Elam. Red Raiders out of the pack with it. Winfrey on the far side. Pulls it back there over to Torrey Grooms. Grooms now high on the left. Red Raiders a one-point lead with a basketball. Just over 90 seconds into this third quarter. Uphold switches back here with Winfrey. Winfrey up top, edge of the zone, back to Bakari Wallace. Wallace now working left of the lane, a little spin, pulls off again to Uphold. Uphold left of the lane, pulled off to Wallace again, looking for another three, and he hit it again! Wow. Wallace came in, only two made threes all season, and he's knocked down two here tonight. He's, yeah, that's unusual. He's not a three-point shooter and a timeout by the Spartans. Four point Union Town lead, 43-39. We're back in 60 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Going on now at Sea Harper Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $2.79 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is for GMF for well qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. For 4,500 cash rate equity with lease loyalty or lease conquest. Payment is for tax title fees and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends January 31st, 2022. All supplies last. Residency restrictions apply. Call you for all the details at 724 99 8000 Good times and good food. 
It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Steve, what a way to start the third quarter for Uniontown. Getting a couple of threes for Tory Grooms. One for Bakari Wallace. Calvin Winfrey contributing as well. And Uniontown leads by four, 43-39. Yeah, it was uh, pretty impressive. They're hitting uh, hitting a lot of shots, looking good so far. Uh, hopefully they can keep it up in and, and, uh, time out there. We'll see how the Spartans, if they make any adjustments. Going to work down low. Tough shot. No good there. Elam ball loose. Baseline out of bounds. It'll be Uniontown's basketball. Wow. We're of Elam and out. Get Elam and Mosley working the blocks. And they lost the handle, and the Red Raiders get it back. Raiders getting every break. I thought, I actually thought Grooms was on out of bounds when he got his hand on that ball. He kind of simultaneously grabbed it with Elam, and then, then the ball flicked up in the bleachers. But uh, Red Raiders are getting some pretty nice uh, benefits of the doubt from the officials. Upple did a nice job there to get out of a double team. Grooms now has it right now. He'll spin on the inside. Fire pass down low. Wallace comes free and puts it up and in. Wow. Wallace, was, five uh, here in the third, 12 for the game. You need to up six at 45 39. Helter skelter there. Wallace spinning and turning around like a top in the middle of the lane. And he really didn't have anywhere to go with it. And just looked down underneath the basket and found Wallace, who was kind of got slipped away from everyone. And Wallace quickly put it up. And the Red Raiders uh, take a 45 39 lead. Mosley back to Pinquette up top. Near wing now, Del Tondo. I have to think the Spartans stunned to some wow. degree, but Pinquet gets him right back into it with his third made three of the game. He has 14 points. Spartans back to within three at 45 to 42. The smooth left-hander yes. just uh, drains one. Those made threes will get you back into a game quickly. Here's Bakari, edge of the zone, switching there with Calvin Winfrey. He's double teamed and able to tiptoe the near line and then get fouled. We get Pinquette there for the foul there. Steve is second. Nine shooting. Red Raiders to keep possession here in the Montour zone as Uphold will send it in. Into the backcourt. Dangerous there. Ball comes loose and stolen there by Stevenson. Stevenson down low. Held ball. No. Foul call there on Torrey Grooms. Looked like it was pretty good defense there from Torrey. Well, I can tell you, he, did, he got a lot of ball there, but... He really, <laughs> he's gotten the benefit of doubt on several several uh, calls that could have went either way, so he really shouldn't complain too much. But uh, that was a good, uh, tough steal there for for us, for the Spartans, to get that uh, steal in the inbounds play. Made free throw there on the Montour side for Pinkett. He has four here in the third, 15 for the game, 45-43. Two-point Uniontown lead, 4.08 left here in the third. Second of two free throws, no good, but they give up the offensive rebound there to Elam, who puts it up and in to tie the game. So Elam in double figures with 10, who are knotted up at 45. A little 6-0 mini run there from the Montour Spartans. Here's Winfrey, tough shot. Couldn't get it to drop, but he's fouled. At the third on Pinquette there, Steve. Let's see who they call it on. Yes, it is. That's a big foul. He came in averaging 12 points, five rebounds a game, and he's... Scored 15 so far tonight. Their leading scorer in the game. Winfrey, first of two free throws here for Uniontown. No good. That one halfway down. Came back out. Winfrey scored 10. I'll bring Pinquette out here for a moment. And the freshman, Caleb Platts, back in on the Montour side. Now Winfrey is second of two. Up on the way and good for Calvin Winfrey. He has 11. Red Raiders back in the lead, but by only one at 46 to 45. 352 left here in the third. He made one out of two there. Correct. Del Tondo playing catch there with Jake Wolf in the corner to Platts, the freshman. Watch there by Wallace. Interior pass and getting triple teamed and fouled was Mosley. That could have been a jump ball as well, Steve. They're going to post that foul on Uphold. But he is second. 
23, Got to rule this in the act as well. Now give Mosley a pair of free throw attempts. Mosley 57% for the season for the foul line, 20 of 35. has yet to attempt a free throw so far in this game, but has scored eight points. First of two for Mosley on the way, and he banked it in. Nine now for Mosley. We're tied at 46. Now Mosley for a second to give the Spartans the lead back. On the way, and no good. Bakari Wallace, the rebound there for Union Town. So the Red Raiders led by six after a little surge to start the quarter. Game now tied at 46. Union Town had the basketball until a steal there from Mosley. He'll come back and slam it home. Isaiah Mosley, five here in the third, 11 for the game. 48-46 Montour. Mosley starting to come alive, Steve. Yeah. Here's Winfrey as Perkins sets the screen. Winfrey now backs off, resets here high on the right. Between the circles, 3.05 left here in the third. Winfrey bounces it off near side, grooms. Up top again to Bakari Wallace. Bakari works to his right, now to his left in the lane. Tough shot, couldn't get it to go. Got his own rebound and puts it back up and in Bakari Wallace. Wallace, seven here in the third, 14 for the game. And we're tied at 48. Did Grooms get hurt there, Steve? Now he's grabbing his shoe. I don't know if it's his shoe, he got a flat tire, or if he just, uh, he seems to be moving around pretty well. If Platts with it right now, playing catch in the corner with Wolf. The freshman Platts gets it back. Three off the side of the rim, no good. Goes back to Wolf. He'll reload from the outside and hit it. Jake Wolf, second made three of the game. He has six. Sophomore connecting twice from the outside. And Montour now leads by three at 51 to 48. Red Raiders looking for an answer back. Up hold for three. Rattles out. Good look there. Couldn't get it to fall. And Platts the rebound. Off to Del Tondo and across. Del Tondo up top. Pulls it off far wing. Wolf a little juggle. Regains up top. Platts now coming free. Elam driving. Shot with the left hand. No good. Rebound deflected out. Controlled there by Grooms. Trying to spin off of Caleb Platts. And Platts coming over looking for the steal. Deflected it out of bounds of the Union Sounds basketball. Red Raiders trail by three at 51 to 48. 157 left here in the third. And Kadrian McLee will check in. Steve, he hasn't seen too many minutes tonight. No, you thought you thought maybe he would with the uh, the size that they have, but for some reason he hasn't got in yet. I don't think this is. I think this is the first time. I think he got second in time he's gotten in. Had one little quick series in the first half, but Perkins has played well down on the blocks for Union Town tonight as well. Here's uphold for three and the tie. A little bit too strong there. Rebound pulled down by Caleb Platts off and across. Wolf set near side, driving and missing there was Mosley. Rebound there for McLee across to Bakari Wallace. Wallace driving left in the lane, comes in shot. The left hand might have been blocked there by Elam. Del Tondo picks up the loose ball off to his left there to Platts. Platts spinning off a defender, sending it off there to Mosley who leans and misses. Battle for the loose ball, kept alive. Elam got fouled from behind there by McLee. Getting physical out there, Steve. Yeah. Spartans continue to lead by three, and they'll have a pair of free throws up coming here from Elam. 116 left in the third. Just the first personal on Kadrian McLee. And for Uniontown, that's four team fouls here in the second half. A little delay here at the scores table. Not sure what that's all about. Try to get it rectified. Now Elo missed his last two free throws, makes one here. Elam for the night now, 5 of 8 from the foul line. He scored 11 points. And you have Grooms taking a seat now for Union Town along with Uphold. Townsend and Richardson back in. Walking him back to see the trainer. And I think he... We mentioned slammed, that ankle. Slammed something down, so he's not happy. Elam makes both free throws, and now a little pressure defense out of the Spartans, uh, and they almost force a turnover, and they do. Richardson gets, was out of bounds. Got some ex inexperienced two players there handling the ball with uh, Townsend and uh, Richardson, and that cost the Red Raiders there, and you're going to have to get Grooms back in this game as quickly as you can if he can if he can go. Yeah, if you get a Montour make here, and even if you get a miss, you might want to take a timeout for Union Town just maybe to give Grooms a little extended time. It's kicked in the corner there. Wolf back on the wing. Platts driving, handing off down low, coming free and laying it up and in. Mosley. So Mosley seven here in the third, 13 for the game. Red Raiders down seven. Important juncture of the game. And Winfrey 
turns it over. That's where I wanted to time out there, Steve, just to kind of settle things down. Yep. Red Raiders don't take one. They turn it over and coming back. Pretty spin move in the finish. Oh, Isaiah Mosley. Mosley now nine here in the third, 15 for the game. And now you need nice to tell down nine. They're still going to play on. Tough shot. Townsend somehow got it to go. Evan Townsend with four. Well, he's not calling a timeout because he's got 20 seconds till the end of the quarter, so he's probably figuring, let's save it. But, you know, you save them for, for nothing. <laughs> you got five remaining. Yeah. yeah. I think you're going to have Grooms coming over to check in at the next whistle. He was limping a little bit, though, coming to the scores table. Eight seconds left here in the third. Platts in the corner. Wolf back to Platts. NBA range three with Winfrey in his face. No good. Battle for the rebound. They're not going to get a shot away. Will not count there from Elam. He made it, but it was after the whistle. 57-50 Montour for Uniontown into three. We're back with a fourth and 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For attorney Melinda Della Rose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Della Rose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Della Rose. 724-437-3200, 724-437-3200, or online at DelaRoseLaw.com. Back for the fourth quarter, Red Raiders will need a rally back. They led by as many as six early on in the third quarter, now trail by seven, but another solid showing against one of the top teams from 4A tonight. We'll see what the Red Raiders have in store for this fourth quarter, but Montour will start the quarter with the basketball. It'll be Del Tondo, who's been held scoreless tonight, sending it in. No pizza and wings, though, Steve, for the Spartans tomorrow. They've given up 50 already. Yeah. Del Tondo up top. Kicked in the corner, Wolf. Back up top, Del Tondo. Swung near side, Plants. Plants now pulls it back to Del Tondo again, and now Plants. Almost a steal there from Uphold. Plants keeps it alive. Long two near wing, too strong off the back iron. Big rebound there, Bakari Wallace in traffic. Bakari will bring it back across. Down to Uphold. Uphold leaning. Got blocked there by Elam. And Elam finds the loose ball there for the Spartans. Off to Del Tondo and across on the far wing to Wolf. And now a cross court pass near side there from Mosley. Was looking for Platts. Got deflected off the rim. Red Raiders find the loose ball. Coming back. Winfrey got swatted by Elam. Big time block from Elam. <laughs> Remain Uniontown's basketball, though, in the Montour zone. 7-14 left in regulation. Winfrey to send it in. Over to Uphold in the corner. Three on the way. Off the side of the rim, no good. Del Tondo, the rebound there for Montour. Three on two coming back. Off to his left. Pinquet drives inside, draws the foul. Shot attempt, no good. But he'll have two free throws upcoming. With 7.05 left here on the fourth. 57-50 Spartans over the Red Raiders. They got Richardson on the foul, his first. Fifth team foul on Uniontown here in the second half. Have to thank our video stream sponsors tonight as well. Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, and the WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital. First of two free throws from Pinkett, no good. Penn Hills playing next game? Yes, Penn Hills and North Allegheny. Can't miss those uniforms, the red and gold. Yes, they brought their cheerleaders yeah. here as well tonight. Should be a good game. Missed the first free throw, makes the second one. Correct. He scored 16 points in this game for the Montour Spartans. They'll show a little man-to-man, -man full-court pressure defense here. Winfrey, trap, got out of it. Richardson folded across. Bakari Wallace here on the near side. Bakari right in the lane, faked the shot, and then turned it over. The right to Wolf. Forward here to Pinquet. Driving back, sends it off to his right. And driving and scoring there, Mosley. He has 17. Timeout, Uniontown, 60-50. to 50. Spartans lead by 10. 6.51 left here on the fourth. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes with the colon cancer screening update. If you have no close family member with colorectal cancer or precancerous polyps, 
You are at average risk and should begin screening at age 45. Colonoscopy is the most sensitive screening test and only needs done every 10 years. Stool fit testing and Cologuard are usually effective screening options with fit testing done yearly and Cologuard done every three years. Learn more at swgispecialist.com. Going on now at Steve Harper Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $279 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit steharperchevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is for GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 4,500 cash rate equity with lease loyalty or lease conquest. Payment is for cash title fees and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends January 31st, 2022. While supplies last. Residency restrictions apply. Call you for all the details at 7 8, Montour, a little pressure on the ball again as we come back. Another scrum. Spartans timeout. It'll get granted as diving on the court. Pinquette coming away with it. So still 60-50. Spartans over the Red Raiders. 643 left here in the fourth. We're back in 60 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. We come back, Steve. Quick charge call there on Isaiah Mosley. Red Raiders will take a look at the basketball back down 10. <laughs> and that got Coach K out of his seat. Cheering uh, his defense there. And uh, now you got Grooms back in the game. And they got a – they got a – oh, there's a – Went off the foot of Wallace. It'll be ruled a kick ball. Should stay with the Red Raiders, shouldn't it? Yeah, because Wallace it actually went off of his foot. He didn't kick it. But it deflected back, Correct. and then I think it was uh, Pinkett who was just running down the court, and he inadvertently kicked it, but it was still a kick, and that ball went flying all the way down the other end of the court, so the Red Raiders get the ball. In the backcourt grooms. He's double team, goes between defenders, stays with it over to Perkins. Perkins left of the lane, kicks in the corner, uphold, fires the three. Too right. strong. It's an air ball on the backside. Went right to Elam there for Montour. They'll go quickly up the floor, driving near wing and in. Mosley, Fodor no good. Got it back and lays it up and in. So Mosley, four here in the fourth, 19 for the game, 62-50. Spartans over the Red Raiders, 6.05 left here in the fourth. And Uniontown turns it over. Miscommunication there between Grooms and Uphold, but they're feeling a little pressure. And see, this is a good Montour team. The Red Raiders not playing the Sisters of the Poor tonight. Yeah. And Uniontown again led by six. A couple minutes into the third quarter, but Montour surged back. Now leads by 12 with six minutes left in regulation. Del Tondo up top playing catch there with Pinquette. Now on the far side, Wolf with it. Wolf a little ball fake, was fronted there by Winfrey. Back to Pinquette, now Wolf again. Wolf on the far wing. Might see some slower possessions now out of the Spartans leading by 12. Pinquette down low over to Mosley. Back out Del Tondo underneath Pinquette driving. Got fouled by Perkins. That'll be four on Christian Perkins. And the Spartans back to the foul line. Up 12 with 536 uh, left in regulation. He doesn't like the call, but you got to, I mean, if you're Perkins, you got to stop the layup. You're down 12. Correct. Five minutes left. You can't just let him shoot a layup, so he's got to do something. And that's a fourth on Perkins. Uh, of course, you no know, sense in saving him for the bus ride home at this point, right? First of two free throws, good. 17 for Pinquette tonight. 63-50, Montour extending it here in the fourth quarter. Second of two free throws, good again, and that's the largest lead of the game for Montour. Pinquette with 18. Lead by 14, Wallace coming back, driving and scoring. Got that one to go over Elam. Wallace with 16. 64-52, 5.23 left here in the fourth. Del Tondo back across. Will float it back in the corner there, Mosley. Mosley fires a pass down low, got tipped, and then 
Deflected over to Uphold for Uniontown. Uphold back across, bounces it over to Grooms, back near wing Calvin. Thought about the three, comes inside, floater a little bit short that time. And the rebound again pulled down there by Mosley. Mosley back across, kick back in the corner. Pinquette for three off the back iron, no good. Long rebound, kept alive, good to touch there, Del Tondo. Sent it off over to Elam, back up top again, Wolf. Little ball fake there on Uphold. Now pulls it back to Del Tondo again, edge of the zone. Spartans a 12-point lead, 64-52, 4.45 left here in regulation. Wolf back in the corner, playing catch there with Pinquette. Wolf again, and now Pinquette in the corner. Right of the lane, Mosley leaning, missing. Perkins went down, and somehow Mosley got it back. Almost lost his rec specs. Up top again, Wolf, three out the front of the rim, no good. In traffic, Bakari Wallace, the rebound there for Uniontown. Off to Winfrey, good give and go, back to... Wallace on the drive, thought he was fouled, missed the shot, got it back and laid it up and in. Bakari Wallace going strong, he is 18, 64-54. They don't get back and they get burned there by Mosley. 21 for Mosley, 66-54, 4.05 to play. Winfrey thought about a step back three, resets up top, uphold, got fouled by Pinquette, that's four. 12-point lead, four minutes left in regulation, Spartans trying to hang on. I'll give Pinquette a little breather here. Stevenson back in. Also Mosley taking a seat. And Platt's back in on the Montour side. Red Raiders still fighting. They have the basketball down 12. We'll send it into Grooms. Back up top to Calvin Winfrey on the near wing. Up pole. Good saves. He tiptoed the near boundary. Back edge of the zone. Winfrey. Near wing. Notorious Grooms. Grooms. Three on the way. Good again. Tory Grooms, boys, he had some big shots here in the second half. He has 15. Red Raiders hanging in there, Steve. Down nine at 66 to 57. They'll fold it across Stevenson. Swung around the arc, back on the near side. Wolf now Del Tondo a touch edge of the now zone. They're, they're in a full stall mode now. Platt's double team turned it over. Grooms with the steal. Notorious Grooms back on it here for Uniontown. Grooms switching there with Winfrey up top. Wallace, little operating room, trying to send it off to his right. Maybe one too many passes on that possession as the feed to uphold got intercepted by Wolf. And now the Spartans dancing around. Open look in the corner, hands up for Platts. Couldn't get the three to go, and Wallace ripped down the rebound and got fouled by Tariq Elam. And for Elam, it's just his second on the floor. Fifth team foul, nine shooting. Got to catch your breath, Steve. A lot of action tonight. Yep. Well, the Red Raiders looked like they were getting on the bus to go home, and all of a sudden a couple of shots by Grooms, and they're back in it. They're going to bring McLee onto the court during the next whistle. Grooms has it now on the far wing. He's fronted there by Del Tondo, one of Montour's best defenders. Grooms on the inside. Tough shot. Put it up. Wouldn't drop. Rebound went to Mosley. 2.43 to play. Clock certainly a factor. Red Raiders down nine. Spartans bring it across here on the near wing. High feed brought down Stevenson. Bounces it out on the far side. Mosley. And now they'll go into a little bit of a stall mode here. Stevenson dancing around. Pulled back Del well, Tondo. Just... Red Raiders going to have to come out here. That just shows you that Montour has a little bit of respect for the Red Raiders. They're not just playing it out. They're trying to win this game, and they're, they're not going to take any chances with the way these guys, uh, some of these Red Raiders have been making some shots. And Winfrey almost had a steal there on Stevenson, who keeps it alive. Edge of the zone there for the Spartans. Taking a lot of time off this possession, down to 2.05 well, if you, left. If you're ever going to start fouling, you should have done it about a minute ago. Elam but. has it on the far side. Off to Mosley, who gets fouled. They took about 35 seconds off the clock on that possession. They're still down nine. It's 66 to 54. And you have the foul whistled there, Steve. Winfrey. Just his first. And you'll have Mosley, who's 57% for the season, head of the foul line. He scored 21 points, though, tonight. You know, why are, why, they should be fouling him you know, every time he touches it. It's one and two, basically. It's a one and one situation here. That was the seventh team foul on Uniontown front end. No good. Rattles out. Got to get the rebound. It's going to go out of bounds. Wow. But it went off of Stevenson and out. So it'll be Uniontown's basketball. Wow, that was fortunate. The ball just went right off one of the Spartans' legs. 
Grooms back across, long three, far wing, just a bit too strong, had a good look. Pinquette pulled down the rebound for Montour, 145 to play. Spartans, of course, going to stall right now. Send it over to Elam, and Elam fouled in the backcourt by Winfrey, his second. Elam for the season, 62% from the free throw line. It's to be another one-and-one, one, eighth team foul on Montour. It's a one-and-one one here for Elam. Let's see if he can convert. Front end up on the way. Out the front of the rim, no good. So another break for Uniontown. Wallace the rebound. Off to Groom. Set on the far wing, Winfrey. Winfrey coming far. Baseline, lost the handle, ball loose. Another scrum for it, and the Spartans keep it alive. And they'll get an uncontested made layup from Isaiah Mosley. 23 for Mosley tonight, 68-57. Townsend for three. I thought it was going to go down. It rattled out. Elam, another rebound for Montour, and that might be it, Steve. 75 yep. seconds left. Red Raiders down 11. Stevenson in the corner, handing off, driving and scoring there. Pinquet, he's had a nice game with 20. So you've had Mosley with 23. Pinquet with 20. Lead at 13. Towns another three. Too strong. Battle for the rebound. Again, pulled down there by Mosley. 50 seconds to play. Del Tondo back across. As it high on the right, Coach Kesmarski says no foul. Tell you what, this is not going to look as good in the paper as maybe they want, but they were up 43-39 with five minutes left in the third. They led by as many as six yeah. in that third quarter. They're going to lose by 13 tonight. And that's the thing, Steve. The selection committee is just going to see the end results. They're not going to know the way this game was in the middle of the third quarter. Just the way it goes wasn't a bad loss, though, for Uniontown. You knew Montour was talented coming in. Red Raiders played hard. They get a quick steal here from Townsend. Up the court, Bakari Wallace. Down to Grooms. Thought it could have been a goaltend, but you get Wallace for the basket. So Wallace will have 20 points tonight. Five seconds left. And it'll be an 11-point win for Montour over Uniontown. 70-59, to your final score. Back with our post-game show brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checks and windshield clean. Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station serving the Uniontown area and the same location for over 47 years. Joby's Golf offers walkout services, general repairs, tire repair, fenced-in storage lots, state inspection, golf products, and AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Chris Parker Jr., it's a new year, so what's new for 2022 at Auto Land Hyundai? 2022 will bring a tax refund for many people. So if you're expecting a tax refund, stop in at Auto Land and ask us about our deferred down payment program. That makes buying a new Hyundai easier. Any other special offers? The entire Hyundai lineup has great offers, such as the 2022 Venue Hatchback with 0.9% APR up to 60 months. Or get $750 off with HMF bonus cash. And when the snow arrives, don't get stuck without all-wheel drive. Be prepared. Stop in at Autoland and check out our all-wheel drive Hyundai Konas, Tucson's, and Santa Fe's. And, of course, every new Hyundai comes with America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain protection, and three-year complimentary maintenance. Autoland Hyundai, downtown Uniontown. See them online at autolandhyundai.com. Our phone 724-437-9999. That's 724-437-9999 for Autoland Hyundai. Remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. <laughs> Come see what everyone's crowing about. It's Rooster's Roost next to the Uniontown Shopping Center on Francis Street in the Old Eddie's Tavern location. Craving pizza, wings, fried chicken, hoagies, or your favorite salad or side? It's all at Rooster's Roost. Eat in, take out, or have it delivered. Call 724-320-2244 or order online at roostersroost.com. Use the coupon radio and get $3 off your online order. Gift certificates also available. Stop in Rooster's Roost today. <laughs> 
I'm attorney Rob Harper, and I'm happy to be joining Bill Martin and Trip Radcliffe at Radcliffe Law in Uniontown. I grew up in Uniontown and chose to make Fayette County my home. I also represent the county as an assistant district attorney, and I know my way around a courtroom. If you are hurt in an accident, buying or selling a home, need assistance with an estate or will preparation, call me at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. The initial consultation is free. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Find more snuggle time this winter and be prepared for the cold with the help of First Federal Savings and Loan of Greene County. With a home improvement loan, a home equity loan, or a home equity line of credit, you can finally upgrade that old furnace, take care of that leaking roof, or replace those outdated floors. Keep the cold out and the warm and cozy in your home this winter. Visit a loan officer today or apply online at firstfederalofgreene.com. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Member of FDIC Equal Housing Lender. NMLS number 458729. 70 to 59, your final score, Montour over Uniontown here in our First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County postgame show. Steve is your final stats. They're brought to you by Peachin's Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peachin Market. Okay, for the Red Raiders, Winfrey finishes with 11 points, Wallace with 20, Grooms with 15, Uphold 9, and Townsend with 4. They scored 15 in the first, 17 in the third, 18 in the fourth, 9 in the, uh, 18 in the third, 9 in the fourth. 59 for the ball game for the Spartans. Stevenson with six points. Elam with with 14. Pinkett or Pinkett with 20. Wolf with six. Mosley 23. And Platts, the freshman, with three. They scored 19 in the first, 18 in the second, 20 in the third, 13 in the fourth for a 70-59 to 59 victory. Now wrap it up for the folks on Facebook Live. Again, we're back with more high school hoops coming up on Tuesday. We'll have the Laurel Highlands Mustangs in action as Laurel Highlands will host Ringgold on the air at 7 o'clock with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show opening tip set for 7.30. We'll have Uniontown's final two games of the regular season for you as well this year against Albert Gallatin and Laurel Highlands. And who knows, Steve, you get some snow delays and other games get moved around. We might see the Red Raiders a few more times than, than that. You just never know the way the schedule's going to shake out here with weather and everything else going on here over the last couple of weeks. Well, you never know. It's, uh, you know, the Red Raiders have been pretty entertaining to watch. Yeah. I mean, they've... Uh, you know, you can't really... Uh, We've been blessed they, with good basketball in the area this yeah, year, Yeah, this sure. has been the best year from that I can remember for both. Of you. you always had one team pretty good, you know, and the other team just okay or whatever. And sometimes both teams have been pretty good. But this this year, obviously, the Mustangs are terrific. I mean, they're just like the best team that we've seen in 25, 30 years probably. And around, you know, at least uh, in the area. And then, you know... Uniontown is is pretty darn good as well, with especially with a young team. So the future is bright for uh, uh, Fayette County basketball for sure. Seventy to fifty-nine, your final score. Back with one final word on the radio side here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network. I'll wrap it up on Facebook Live. <laughs>